Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, brother, for the prayer this morning. I may God bless you. Uh, I want to take this uh, opportunity or privilege to be grateful for everyone who has been here with us since Sunday up to this day, uh, the seventh day of the week and the last uh, part of this week in the devotion. May God bless each one of you. Before we go any further, let's have a word of prayer. Our kind and loving Father, we thank you yet for this blessed morning. We thank you for this Sabbath morning. Father, as we open the scriptures, we pray that let the Holy Spirit inspire us, teach us, and this time, this time we have, we pray that we, by the time we are done with this session, we'll have been inspired, we'll have been, we will have learned something new that will bless our souls. Thank you so much, Father, in Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. This week, we've been looking into uh, the seven prayers or the seven different types of prayers. And I'm going to go through each one of them briefly, and then we shall end with uh, the prayer of today, uh, the prayer type, which is consecration. On the very first day on Sunday, we looked into the petition prayer. Now we saw that this prayer is at its most basic level asking God. You ask God what you need. And then on Monday, we looked into another prayer type, which is confession. Confession, we saw that uh, it's about acknowledging and admitting one's sin, faults, or wrongdoings before God. And on Tuesday, we looked into adoration prayer, a prayer type where you focus uh, on expressing your deep love, reverence, and worship towards God. It's a prayer of our and ad admiration, where the person praises God for his greatness and holiness and his mighty works. And then on, on Wednesday, we looked into intercession prayer, where we saw that intercession, an individual or a group of people pray on behalf of others. It simply involves approaching God to make requests, petitions, or supplications for the needs and concerns or well-being of other people. So here you focus on advocating for others rather than oneself. And then on Thursday, we looked into meditation prayer. It's a prayer that involves on uh, reflecting deeply on specific scriptures, truths, or spiritual insights. This type of prayer is characterized by silence, uh, introspection, and a receptive heart. And yesterday on Friday, we looked into a thanksgiving prayer. It's a form of a prayer where an individual expresses gratitude and appreciation to God for his blessings, provisions, and acts of kindness. We saw that it is a prayer that focuses on giving thanks for the many gifts, the goodness, goodness received from God, recognizing his love and care in one's life. And today, a last day, we're going to look uh, an amazing uh, prayer form, which is consecration. Consecration. What is consecration prayer? A consecration prayer is a prayer, uh, is a sincere and intentional prayer in which an individual or a group uh, dedicates themselves, their actions, or their possessions to God's service and will. It is a spiritual act of surrender, uh, acknowledging God's authority and committing to follow his guidance and purpose in life. I was looking into what is the definition exactly of the word consecration and consecration is an act of setting apart or dedicating someone 
or something for a sacred or holy purpose. It involves making someone or something special, distinct, and devoted to a particular spiritual intention or religious intention. In the book of Romans chapter 12, from verse 1 up to verse 2, the Bible says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So this morning, or today, we look into a prayer whereby you put, you set yourself apart for the service of God. You dedicate yourself for the service of God. Or it's a prayer whereby you dedicate something strictly for the service of God. We see so many things uh, in the church whereby uh, they're brought to be dedicated, they're brought to be consecrated specifically for the service in church. We look into Holy Communion things, we look into um, so many things that fall in the deaconal department. And also you and I need to put ourselves, to set ourselves apart to the service of God. The question is, how many of us today have decided or they have set themselves for specifically the service of God? It's my prayer this morning that you Put yourself to the service of God. Uh, this prayer uh, is offered by sensitive, responsive Christians. You, you, you have to be responsive. That means you're responding uh, to, 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 to when you accept Jesus Christ, you respond by also setting yourself apart or by dedicating yourself to the service of God. And whenever you see a need, you desire to fulfill it. And when you see a heart or maybe somebody's heart, you work towards healing it. And in this type of prayer, the person typically expresses their desire to live in accordance with God's teachings, to seek his wisdom and to be used as an instrument of his love and grace in this world. The question is how many times or every single day do you set yourself apart to live in accordance with God's teachings? It's my prayer and it's a challenge that we put ourselves apart. We set ourselves apart so that we can live in accordance with what the word of God says, with what the Bible says, and then seek his wisdom and be used as an instrument of his love and grace in this world. Trust me, brothers and sisters, with these seven types of prayer, we've been looking into the whole of this week. If we can cultivate them, we shall have results that are more rounded and satisfying in, in our spiritual life because a prayer is a way of educating a soul. And I also believe that there is one, there is one uh, Russian novelist, uh, Fyodor, says that every time you pray, if your prayer is sincere, there will be a new feeling, new meaning in it, which will give you fresh courage and you'll understand that prayer is an education. That every single time you and I pray, and if we are sincere with our prayer, we shall always have that kind of new feeling and a new meaning in it, which will give you that fresh courage and you'll understand that prayer is an education. Uh, the whole of this week, we've been looking into seven different types of prayers as we have seen them. And these prayers, having knowledge of these prayers doesn't help so much. But having an experience of these prayers by sincerely coming to the Lord and make a sincere prayer, as we have seen the rest of this week, it shall give us a new feeling. It shall give us a new meaning in which we shall receive a fresh courage and we shall understand that prayer is an education to our soul. May God bless you, bless you the rest of this day and bless you for the rest of the new week that we shall have. Let's have a word of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for blessing us the rest of this week. Thank you, Father, from Sunday, and thank you for having brought us through the seven days up to this day when we are still talking about and opening the scriptures for our own benefit, Father. We pray you teach us how to pray. We pray you make us realize the importance of praying, Father. We pray that you bless us this day, this Sabbath, 
I pray that you bless each person on this call. I also pray that you bless each person who will listen to this message later. I pray you bless each person today who's going to church. Give them the blessings you promised for this day. Protect them on the way. Give uh, the preachers of today, Father, bless them. Let them disappear as you appear. Let the children who shall be listening to the word throughout this world get inspired and get blessed by thy word. We pray, trusting and believing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.